and we got ourselves a 2012 Switch, baby. It's actually called a Switchback, and it's a it's a Dyna Bagger. Yeah, it's got great power. It's a real beast. I've seen these. Uh, it's got 56,000 miles, but it doesn't feel bad at all. I mean, it feels tight. It feels really, really, really tight. It's very comfortable. It's a very comfortable bike. You get the smallness, the quickness, the nimbleness of a Dyna. And you get to get, get, get that bag. So you get to put space and put stuff back there. And also, it's going to be a lot cheaper. You, get, you save a lot of money on it. And it's cool looking. It really does look like a little road king. So I'm actually pretty impressed. This bike feels good. The uh, the the brakes feel nice and tight. The front brake is like like solid. I mean, it feels really, really, really good. For some reason, a lot of times on these higher mileage Harleys, the the front brakes just they feel real spongy because people don't use the front brakes because they don't know what they're doing. I could definitely see myself taking a nice tour on this. A nice big trip. I guess the one thing it doesn't have, and if if you want it, cool. If you don't, whatever. Is um, it's not gonna have cruise control. I guess no Dyna, no Softail is ever gonna has ever had cruise control. That's kind of reserved for the touring line. You look in the rearview mirror, you're reminded about what you, what you paid. I mean, what you drive. <laughs> Harley Davidson.